Welcome to the last in this series of videos on using OneFile. My name is Michael Warby and I'm a skills and development coach here at First Intuition. In this final video, we'll look at uploading your exam results and also signing off on your attendance on skills days. Now, it's really important that you submit your exam results promptly once you've completed an exam successfully, as completing an exam is an important factor in demonstrating your progression on the programme. And as demonstrated in the previous video, it will update your status on your portfolio. Your skills and development coach will have pre-populated your OneFile account with the anticipated dates of your exam results. And therefore, if you don't submit your exam results promptly on completing your exam, then you will be shown as behind target on your portfolio screen. But if you do update your exam result along the lines of when it's scheduled within your uh, account, then you will stay on track. Similarly, it's really important to record your attendance on your skills days, uh, because again, attending your skills days is demonstrating your progression on the program, particularly in relation to the skills and behavior requirements of your apprenticeship standard. Just with exam results, your one file account will be pre-populated by your skills and development coach with the dates at which you're expected to have completed your skills days. And therefore, if you don't complete uh, your submission for your attendance of your skills day in accordance with that timetable, then your portfolio will show you as being behind target on that particular unit, which will then draw your attention uh, to your skills coach who will follow up uh, to understand why uh, you have failed to submit your completion of your skills day to your portfolio. So both your exam result and your skills day attendance are submitted by using a development task. And we've already covered the basics of submitting a development task, but let's look at those in the case of submitting an exam result and submitting a skills day attendance. So we're gonna to go to development tasks on the left-hand screen. And we're going to create a development task. And in this first example, we're going to submit an exam result. So in the primary method drop-down box, we'd select exam. Now in this example, let's assume that the date of the exam result was the uh, 9th of January. So we click on the date and select the 9th of January. And then in the title box, we give the specific name of the exam that you have completed. So in this example, let's assume that we've just completed the AAT personal tax exam. Of course, your program uh, may be different and have uh, different exam titles, but for this example, we're going to assume that you've completed the personal tax exam. So we enter personal tax, and then we select criteria. And then when the set criteria box appears, we scroll down to find the relevant exam module that we have completed. So here we go, here is the personal tax module, so we click on that and then we select it. And when we've selected it, we then click Save. And once we've saved it, we then click Back, which takes us back to the development task itself. And as you can see, the module is highlighted in the criteria section. Now in the evidence section, all we need to write is a statement to the effect that we have passed the exam uh, as confirmed by the exam result. So let's just say, I successfully completed my personal tax exam per the exam result. And then we scroll down to the section which says timesheet. Now, in one file, you can't submit a development task without putting some time in. But of course, sitting an exam and getting a result is not qualifying off the job learning. So we need to just put in a number like five minutes, uh, which isn't gonna be a lot of time, uh, and then tick the sign off box. Once we're ready to submit to our skills and development coach for sign off, we click save and quit. And then your skills and development coach will receive that development task uh, and they will have your exam result and therefore know that they can approve that. Once you've uh, uh, submitted it and the skills and development coach has signed it off, then your portfolio screen will update to reflect the fact that you have completed that unit of the program. 
You can also see that in your list of development tasks, that particular uh, exam result is now reflected in your uh, list of development tasks. Okay, let's now look at how to create a development task to record the fact you attended a skills day. So once again, we go to create development task. And then in the primary method section, we would select reflective account. For this example, let's assume that you attended the skills day on the 9th of January and that the title of the skills day was leadership. So leadership skills day. Okay. We then click start, which will generate the development task. And once again, we go to criteria. This is so that we can link uh, the criteria of your standard to this particular skills day. And when the criteria screen appears, we scroll down to find the relevant skills unit. Now the skills days are typically at the bottom of the list. So let's go right down here to the bottom and there we go. So unit number one, leadership. So we click on that particular unit and then select it and then click save. Once the criteria have been saved, we then click on back and that will take us back to the development task. As you can see now, that unit is recorded in the criteria section. And then we move on to the evidence section. Now, when you attend a skills day, you will be asked uh, by the uh, course chair or your skills development coach to complete a reflective statement, uh, much as you would for any off the job learning that you were doing in the workplace. So using the template that we provide you with, uh, you can complete a reflective statement to record what you learnt on the skills day, um, how you're going to apply uh, the knowledge that you've learnt in your role. So once you've completed uh, the evidence section, uh, so let's just for this particular example say, I learned the importance of leadership. Uh, you scroll down uh, to the timesheet. Now, in this section, you only record the time that it has taken you to complete this specific development task reflective statement. So let's say hypothetically that I spent 30 minutes on completing this reflective statement. I would enter 30 minutes into this box and then sign it off and then save and quit. But then to ensure that the actual time that I spent on the skills day is recorded in my off the job learning uh, timesheet account, I should then go to timesheets, create timesheet entry, and then you can put in this timesheet entry, I attended the skills and development day titled leadership. In the category section, uh, you could highlight attending FI courses. You would put the start date, which was the 9th of January, the start time, which was let's say 9.30, and let's say uh, in total, it was a six hour course. You then click save, and that would then record your attendance on that course in your timesheet. So that's how you complete a exam result entry on one file and also register your attendance on a skills day. If you're happy with how to do these, then you've completed your one file introduction training. If you have any questions on completing uh, a timesheet entry for your skills day or submitting a development task for your skills day uh, and exam result, then please contact your skills and development coach. I really enjoy preparing these videos for you and I hope you find them useful. Please refer to them in the future if you need to remind yourself how to use any of the functionality of OneFile. Thank you very much for watching.